Team 2 meteorologist Jamie Jarosik with a Miami Valley certified most accurate forecast. We've got rain in the Miami Valley today. We are starting off with rain falling or just a wet scene like we're seeing here in Trotwood. Some spots are catching a break in the rain. It's not going to last. More rain will fill in and the potential does continue through at least lunchtime to see those showers around. It's breezy too. That flag is really whipping around in the wind. We've got the southerly flow, so temperatures are not going to uh, be too chilly today, but it is going to feel cold because of the breeze and the rain and lots of clouds around. So here's a check of our live Doppler 2HD radar, Urbana, back through Cast Town, Tip City, over to Union, Northridge, Fairborn. We have steady rain in all of these spots. You can see some locations where this break develops around West Milton, so maybe a sprinkle happening there at the moment, but there is more rain off to the southwest that will continue to fill in. It's lifting from the southwest up to the northeast, and we'll stick with a good chance of showers really for the next couple of hours. And then we'll start to see things become a little more scattered for the afternoon. And eventually we will catch quite a bit of dry time. You can see back to the west uh, where we do have uh, not a whole lot of rain at all ahead of this area of low pressure. But that low is tracking through the region today, so it's keeping us very active. So a little recovery this afternoon, but not much. It's looking like mid to upper 40s for the northern counties, right around 47 in Sydney, Bell Fountain, 48 in Urbana, Troy and Greenville topping out at 49, and then some recovery into the low 50s here in the south, 52 for Dayton, Springboro, right around 50 in Xenia, and 53 in Oxford. A real cool afternoon and breezy as well. So you see those rain chances will remain highest through our morning hours and then they start to come down to scattered at lunchtime and then really going through a majority of the afternoon, a very low chance, it's just gonna be cloudy. Then we get into the evening and it does start to tick up again. Unfortunately, we've got the Kettering Mayor's Christmas tree lighting this evening. We've done it in the rain before, so just bring along an umbrella because we will have that slight shower chance. Temperatures will be dropping into the upper 40s, generally holding steady through the evening, so not a big chill, uh, just a little chill, and that slight shower chance, otherwise it looks cloudy. Here's future track showing lots of rain showers around the area this morning. Those taper to a few showers at lunchtime and then eventually just an isolated shower passing through at five. Heading into the evening and night, rain chances tick up just a bit. A few showers cross through and then tomorrow we're back to dry weather. Looks like a dry day right on through the afternoon hours, but it's going to be cloudy. And then Sunday is when the next system rolls in, bringing in another chance of rain. Still warm enough for rain. So today it's morning rain, a few afternoon showers, otherwise cloudy, breezy, and cool. We'll have a high of 52. Tonight's low drops to 45 with a few showers moving through. And tomorrow, a dry day, but cloudy and cool with a high of 52. Sunday, another system moves through, bringing in more showers and a high of 50. Behind that, it turns chilly for Monday and Tuesday, highs in the mid-40s. And another system comes through Tuesday, making it even colder by Wednesday. You can get the Storm Team 2 weather app by scanning the QR code on your screen. That'll take you right where you need to go to get our free app, where you can always check out your hour-by-hour -hour forecast.